Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kimmy Kim. You're tuning in to Kimmy Kim. Like, comment, and subscribe. And today I have another awesome video for you guys. By the title of this video, this is going to be what's on my iPad Pro 11 inch 2024 M4 iPad. This is literally my best investment yet i haven't really set it up yet like put all the aesthetic stuff like have a nice wallpaper or anything i haven't done anything like that as yet it's just simply plain how i got it out of the box and i just downloaded all the apps that i need so i'm gonna show you guys what apps i have and how i use it in my daily life to ensure that i'm being very productive and let me turn on my screen recorder by the way i've updated to the new new iOS so iOS 18 so I'm learning it as we speak right okay so I think we're recording yes 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 okay so this is the front oh this is the first thing you see when you come on my ipad now i have i think the 512 gigabyte i have the wi-fi one and not the cellular wi-fi wi-fi one the reason why i got this wi-fi one was because i wanted to use this for tiktok and i wanted like for my american tiktok because i have a us account and in order to make it work on something that doesn't really pick up the location i can turn off the location when i want and this is why i got the ipad okay so this is like the main screen i haven't really edited it or whatever it's all apps that comes with the ipad already i have a place where i can see my like the percentage my ipad is on the percentage my pencil my apple pencil pro is on and i can just see the date the time um the clock uh the weather um the calendar and at the bottom here i haven't adjusted the apps it's just messages safari apple music mail calendar photos notes and on the other side it's just apps that i use recently so i can just get to them quickly okay so so yeah settings instagram and whatever else is on here so if we go to the next page we have all the apps that comes with it as well and some new app because i recently updated like i mentioned but what i have added here is of course youtube i have tiktok the reason i turned off tiktok is because i had to turn on my location because i'm using my connect app to see how i was looking while i was doing this video so i need to turn it off because i'm not trying to get like i want my tiktok to always show that i'm in miami i don't want to mess it up guys honestly then i have winscribe which is my v one of my vpns that i use so that way I can put myself in the US and no problems also I have good notes now listen if you guys are in school right if you're in school or you have a job where you constantly taking notes you constantly to write down stuff I would recommend good notes now I paid for it for one month and I canceled it and I was able to get three notebooks now if you're somebody that goes to school and you have multiple classes I'd recommend just paying for it I think the flat out rate for it was $29 under 30 US that way you can organize your classes so you can have a notebook for each class I don't go to school anymore so I feel like I'm good with three notebooks as you can see I have one called everything which has whatever notes in there it's mainly like work notes so I was doing a presentation for one of my jobs and I wanted to ensure that I have some stuff you know like talking points for the presentation so I did my uh, research and I put up my stuff and I did my presentation and I just had my notes open and I just browse through my notes i saw the highlighted part and i spoke about the highlighted parts and it was really good because it allowed me to be organized for my presentation and not be all over the place in what i was talking about i could just say what i had to say and you know follow suit and have all the information that i needed and it's really good because it's your handwriting i know my penmanship is not the best i'm sorry this was training for one of my work jobs that i started but i i of course left it within two days these are all the notes about it um so yeah i definitely recommend recommend good notes if you're somebody that constantly take notes and i have another app that i use to stay organized in terms of content for youtube and content for tiktok i'll let you know what that app is there is digital planner which i have to delete because i don't really use it and then i have nordvpn uh, which i no longer use i don't have to get rid of that and i have cap cut for like editing tiktok videos i have netflix and prime video and the good thing about having this vpn and having this on here i'm able to get netflix in the us and prime videos in the us which means i get better movies and shows as opposed to like the st lucia store the us store i i get more shows to watch like the parkers i really love the parkers and i love watching the reruns and i can do that on netflix i can do that on netflix in st lucia so yeah i really like 
like that. Then I have ChatGPT. ChatGPT is my girl. I actually need to log into there because I use ChatGPT for everything, for job applications, for resume, for YouTube, for content creation. So I actually want to log in so that way I have a place where everything is there. So I just have to ask the questions. Like for example, I have applied for jobs using this. So I'll say, hey, type me up a cover letter. And she will just type me up a cover letter of all of my information already in there. But when she logs out and loses that information, I have to give her back that information again. The next thing I have is Noteful. And if you do not want to pay for good notes, you can definitely use Noteful as a, a place where you can like just draw down notes. I really didn't like it. I tried to use somebody's um, planner and I didn't really like the whole experience of adding things in there so I literally just left it alone then I have sims free play I really love sims I love it love it love it love it one of my favorite games currently and yeah I really love sims your girl is a sim girl your girl just be playing sims all the time I really want to get it on my computer because it's a lot more better as opposed to the free play on the iPad um but yeah not yet I want to be in my, my forever place my forever home where I can set up like my office and actually build a computer for myself and that way I can play my games yeah then I have iMovie which is a video editor that comes with the iPad you know like everybody who has an iPhone should know about iMovie it's it's really nice like if you're not trying to get technical with the editing and just want to put things together you can definitely use it um Canva which I use to edit thumbnails for my YouTube videos um on the next page we have Pinterest which I don't really use much I do want to get into it honestly which is why I have it here so eventually I'll get into the whole Pinterest stuff. Then I have Zoho's, Zoho CRM Zoom Slack. Those apps are strictly for work. So if it's a case where I'm out and about and like I cannot be on my desk but I like maybe I'm slacking for the day and I really need to get some work done. I will hold my iPad with me and I'll get some work done. Google and Keynotes and GarageBand all came with the iPad. Um, I really like the Garage because I'm able to play on the keyboard. I haven't played on the keyboard in so long. It's kind of nice to have it and try and remember all the songs that I used to play when I was a kid. Because you know it's just I used to be playing on a, on a piano but now it's like it's been so long so it's kind of nice that i have this then i have surfshark which is the main vpn that i use uh if my boyfriend only has it for two years so i don't have to worry about a vpn for two e two years i just have this here turn it on it's always on on my ipad i never switch it off and i can get into my tiktok pretty well and I'm good in that department then the next app I have which is notion which I was talking about this is my planning app this is so cool because I can literally map down like video I put it like done or in progress meaning I've already recorded it or like not started like this needs research I have my TikTok stuff which needs more work compared to my YouTube like my YouTube I probably have over 20 videos in there TikTok I need to add some other stuff because I just posted up a TikTok that is not on here so i'm gonna add it in here and click like done the in progress one it just needs editing which i have yet to do in CapCut. so yeah oh god yeah i i shouldn't have showed you guys this but, <laughs> but yeah i'll just put a little blue on it when the time comes but you know notion you can literally plan out your day plan out what's happening what kind of content you want to do and you can take it off and it just keeps you organized you can also use it for work use it for school so there's no need for having notebooks anymore you can do all of this on your handy daddy ipad and this ipad is so fast and so smooth and so good like then the next app i have is youtube studio which is you know see how much money you're making for the month how many subscribers i think i'm close to a thousand subscribers for the month i'm at 900 and something subscribers for the month can you believe it then i have my creator app which is for my sony camera where i can use this like my ipad as a monitor to see myself to make sure i'm in frame if everything is good i tend to do this before every video because the viewfinder on the camera is pretty small so it's kind of nice and and the phone is pretty small too it's kind of nice to have an 11 inch screen where you can just see everything I'm like okay this looks good i like this okay maybe i should turn this a little more then i have audio mac which i use for music because like i mentioned my apple id is not on here i have another apple id my other apple id is associated with saint lucia it picks up the location for saint lucia so the moment that i put this on the ipad my us tiktok no longer works i can't really listen to music and it makes no sense paying for two apple music every month just to listen to some music on my ipad so i have audio Macs where i can get free music to listen to 
I just have to listen to a few ads, but that's fine. Then I have another game, which is Woodscape, which I enjoy playing. It's just, you guys have played it with me before on here, so you, you know. Then there's Final Cut Pro, which I have yet to pay for. I have yet to pay for it. I, I like subscriptions that allow me to purchase something one time, like a one-time fee. Like, I hate monthly and yearly. I only do this because of, like, Apple Music, because I wish Apple Music would come, Apple would come with a one-time fee. I don't care however much that one-time fee is. And let me just have it forever. And then I have Flip Flipcock, which I don't really use, it's kind of for like the aesthetic. So if I'm doing a video with my iPad and like it's probably on the desk, you know, it just shows this. It looks aesthetically pleasing. Then Photo Room, which just came with the iOS 18. I guess you can edit videos in there, edit pictures in there. I haven't used it as yet. And then app it kind of makes you feel like you you know you're writing on a book and you're getting the answers for yourself so i like that about like math notes and yeah just the calculator and passwords which i'm not gonna open because i'm sure my passwords are in here but yeah guys those are all of the apps that i have on my new ipad pro m4 2024 11 inch 512 gigabytes so i just went with the 512 so that way i have enough gigabytes i want to have this ipad for a long 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 time but yeah guys those are everything that i have on my ipad currently i do really need